What's up friends, this is Manny and today I have a funny reaction to video to mecha scene in first person, okay? So of size comparison uh, of various different TV shows and games, starting with a super small one down there, already coming with the Lagan from the Tengen Topa. We'll see a lot from Tengen Topa that I don't actually know. Uh, but the vast mech from Overwatch, uh, around, you know, 0 0.5 meters in height, although it looks larger than this. Um, then we have around 3 meters here, the exosuit, yeah, pushing away the cars. I get the feeling that at the end of this video, the city and the cars are no longer standing. Uh, then we have the uh, uh, Hulk Buster from the Marvel Universe. Um, the <laughs> uh, this mech, that's pretty awesome. Let's see what happens next. Oh, Space Marine Dreadnought from the Warhammer 40k universe. Oh, I love these things, man. I played the heck out of Dawn of War uh, and used them. Armored personal units from the Matrix. Uh, really? Cool. Okay. Uh, I can't. I don't remember this one from the Matrix. Very interesting. Okay. Nice. Please show me the, the Dreadnought again. I want to see him. Another one coming in. AMP suit from Avatar. Ah, okay. Yeah, we, I remember that. This one, I don't know. Ah, because it's, again, Tengen Topa. Gotcha. Okay, no, I don't know what that is. It's probably a TV show or something. Um, so those ones, I just don't know. Uh, Zenith. Front mission. Six meters in height. And it's like first person. This is really interesting. Again, guys, check out the video down in the description pinned comment. Uh, maybe leave some awesome comments there on the video, because this guy made a really awesome video here for us. The Death Egg Robot breaking through the walls. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, what? It's this big? Really? Wait, how big is Sonic then? BT7274 Titanfall. Ah, the first Titanfall I played. Um, we have AV998 Ingram from Pat Labber. Pat Labber. Labor. Oh, here comes an ATST from Star Wars. Awesome. Almost 9 meters in height. Uh, it makes me think, guys, do we even know the size of war robots? Like, do we know what the actual size of uh, Leo, for example, is? Uh, if there is information on that, we can, like, make assumptions because we see the robots walking around in the city uh, and we can, like, judge the size of a door or a car and then... But I think maybe uh, a Leo could be, like, 50 meters high, just guessing, but I don't really know that for sure. So, do we know that? I'm just asking you guys as a viewers. Maybe you have some info on that. I don't know. So, we have uh, the next one coming in. That looks like an armored core. Yeah! <laughs> awesome, dude! It's an armored core Nexus. Nice. Also, it looked a little bit like Supreme Commander, these uh, the mechs, but they're bigger. Metal Gear Rex. Metal Gear Solid. 13 meters in height. Dude, I don't think there's going to be any cars left standing here later. Iron Pirate. General Frankie. One piece. Ah, okay. Cool. The Dactyl looks Mazinger Z F TV. I don't know this one. Looks like Tengen Topa for me as well. Mobile Suit Gundam. Ah, the RX 782 Gundam. Cool. And they're getting bigger and bigger, guys. <laughs> Alt Eisen Super Robot Wars. I don't... 22 meters. Super Robot Wars. An at -AT Walker. 22 meters. Yeah, man. Those things are cool. Whoa. Oh, the Spider Tank. No, oh, okay. It's a different one. Wild Wild West. Yeah. Okay. What's that? The... The Big O. 30 meters high. Can you... Can you imagine how the ground would shake when this thing walks by? To probably weigh like 5,000 tons. Mega Zord. Power Rangers. Or maybe not 5,000, but 1,000 probably. Oh man, there goes the first building. Plan 1051 Behemoth. Full Metal Panic. What? 42 meters in height. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's a oh, it's a tripod from the uh, War of the Worlds. <laughs> Sound effect. Unit 01, Neon Genesis Evangelion. 70 meters high. Okay, Gypsy Danger, Pacific Rim. <laughs> uh oh. Please let us live. Yo. 
I like this video, man. This is awesome. Ideon from Space Runaway Ideon, 105 meters high. That is the the mechanized version of Godzilla. Yeah, Mecha Mecha Godzilla. I just recently watched a video on this topic. What the heck is this? Looks like a ship. Daigurin. Tengen Topa. Ah, maybe I don't know. This looks like a spaceship or a ship on water to me, like a battleship or something. This thing is longer than it is high. The Gunbuster, 240 meters. Look how fast he's walking. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, guess we are not no longer alive. Hey, there's still some cars left standing. Ooh, what is that? Vanaboris. Zelda Breath of the Wild? Really? They have something this large in in the Breath of the Wild? I haven't. I couldn't. I can't play the game. I don't have a Nintendo DS. I think it's only there, right? I want to play this, man. Uh, Shiku Taiser. Akami Ga Kill. 500 meters. <laughs> the SDF, AD, SDF 1 Macross. Robo Tech. 1,200 meters. Thank God he's going through the canal. Uh oh. Dekabustu. Tengen Topa. Gurren Lagan, five kilometers high. He's already in the clouds. Oh my goodness. Macross Cannon Soldier Mode. Lovers again, six kilometers in height. And, but he's not walking. <laughs> I guess that's good for the city that he's like hovering. He's leaving the city standing. He's just freaking flying by. Right now, if something this large flies by, can you imagine the wind that was going on? And this thing, Super Galaxy Gurren Lagan Tengen Topa. I think this thing is as large, the size of the Earth. This this thing is in space. It's in space right now, and it's touching the planet. Ooh, here comes the entering the atmosphere. What? <laughs> Dude. This is insane. Is that the end of it? Okay, I guess we're gone. Uh, size comparison 3D animation. So there's a different kind of... Uh, video that he made like this and he makes a lot of them maybe t maybe you guys can tell me what you think about this um this kind of you know content uh i again i want you guys to also check out the channel it's linked down make sure to give him some i link this very video here so you can leave some comments because it's a really awesome thing i was hoping there was going to be some war robots maybe in there but let's be real war robots is a small niche franchise and there are many games like it so Probably the chances of an actual War Robots like the Ares and Leo or whatever being in there, a Fujin. I don't think that, that there was a high chance for that to begin with. Um, but it would have been awesome. I, I, I thought maybe because I only watched the first minute or two and then I decided to react to it because I, don't, I didn't want to know what happened later. I wanted to uh, you know, experience that with you together live for the first time. So uh, pretty awesome. Um, but uh, of course it would have been awesome. I, I think a War Robots, a Leo... It's probably about 40 meters in size, maybe 50, 40. I'm thinking Shenzhen right now, the map, and uh, what the size would be of these skyscrapers and how high. Maybe only 30 meters. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, but if you have any information of that, let us know. And uh, yeah, may, may, if we don't have information, I feel like Pixonic is going to be here they're gonna give us some info on that, alright? So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next video. And I felt like doing something different today. I hope you have had fun with that too. So, and see you around. Banny off. Bye-bye.